Hello, and thank you again for tuning into my YouTube channel, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from New York. So today, what I want to show you is our project kits. This one is on page 201 of the annual catalog, and it's called For the Love of Felt. I love the kits because they have everything you need to make some gorgeous cards or projects. And if you're a new stamper, this is so easy to start with. So before I get started with that, I just want to remind you that it is um, celebration time. So anything from the mini catalog or the larger annual catalog, you can get free product from the celebration catalog. Okay, so that is going on right now. And that ends March 31st, 2020. So you definitely want to check that out. Also, in the back of the celebration, it shows you the new starter kit for $99. You get $125 of per, uh, product of your choice. Plus, you get this great sampler pack of our designer series paper. And this adorable little mini trimmer, which you can't buy right now. You can only get with the kit. And I love this, especially when I'm doing my videos because it doesn't take up much room. So that's something to think about. And you also get on top of the $125 worth of product, the, the trimmer and the DSP, you get another stamp set of your choice. So now is the time to get your starter kit, join Stampin' Up! and join my team. Just go to stampersdelight.com and click on the button that says join the fun. Okay, so this is my online host code for the month. If you'd like to um, order online this is the code you're going to use if you'd like more information on these products or any other Stampin' Up! products give me uh, a shout stampersdelight.com thank you okay so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to bring in these directions I'm going to show you what happens with all of this and what you get in this kit okay so you have enough to make four of each card and it gives you the instructions in different languages. It also gives you a very big visual aid. That's what I like. Okay, I'm not really a direction person to read. So let me show you what else you get. You get dimensionals. Um, you get glue dots. You get dimensionals. You get these felt flowers. Some more fl felt flowers right here. It's hard to say. You get some of these great poke-out uh, die cuts. Even enough to do more projects after you're done. You're also going to get, and I put this in a little bag so I wouldn't lose it. It goes right there. You get the sequins to use. And there's your um, glue dots. And you get some baker's twine everything you need to create these projects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the projects that I've already done and I'm going to show you the one that is pictured here and then how I stepped it up a little bit. Okay, so for the first one, here's the card. Okay, I'll bring it up close and you can go to stampersdelight.com after this video to see still shots. So this is the card right here. Let me bring in the, the larger picture of it. There it is right there. And I did it just the way the direction said. Then what I wanted to do was I wanted to step it up a little bit. So what I did was I um, changed the bow. I put a bow there instead of wrapping the twine around there, as you can see that. And I also put some dimensionals behind this white piece of cardstock so that it gave it a more of a 3D effect. And then the next one I brought in, I did, I kind of combined the two. I used the twine and wrapped it, but again, I used dimensionals behind it and gave it a 3D, more of a 3D dimensional look. And you can see how those felt flowers are on there. So that was the first card. And they do all come with um, envelopes, the matching envelopes. The next one I'm going to show you is, let's see, we'll go to this one. I was just looking. There we go. Okay, here it is. So this one, 
again, here is the card base. And this one is done just like the instructions. Now, and I used, you know, the other sayings to the stamp set. And here's the stamp set. Let me just show you that. Okay, here's the stamp set. And I do have to tell you that they're, they come separate, so you want to make sure you order the kit plus the stamp set. And you can use this, like this one says, uh, you make an ordinary day special, let's celebrate. Okay, so that is the stamp set. Okay, so this one is, again, made just like the sample. This one, again, I did a little bit different. Okay, I put the dimensionals on it to give it another little bit 3D effect. And this, this one, I didn't change up that much. I did two of them with the 3D effect. So that's the second card. The third card has a little bit more. Let's just flip that over. There it is. This has a circular wreath already um, kind of put there. And this one I did, again, flat, just like the, the um, instructions showed. And I don't usually put anything on my any my thank you cards because I like to write my own message. And then again, the next two are the same, except for I use dimensionals behind that white piece so that it brought it up a little bit. Okay. So let's get started. Let me show you how easy it is to create some cards. So I'm going to bring in the pieces that I need and this one is going to be this one right here so let's just bring that in so I can show you so this you see is already done there's the back the background so I know that's the card I want this background is already there you do have to supply your inks okay so I'm using call me clover you can use whatever you want and I'm using call me clover Pear pizzazz, terracotta tile, and Sahara sand. Now, in the book, book it also tells you um, the colors to use. It actually says Calypso coral. I'm using terracotta tile. And it says shaded spruce. And again, I'm also using Call Me Clover. So let me grab my shaded spruce also. And maybe that's why I grabbed that one, because I don't have my shaded spruce. So we'll just go with the, the clover. <laughs> All right. I have several projects going on here at one time. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab this stamp in the Sahara sand. And again, you can do it by the directions. I'm just eyeballing everything now. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that. Then I'm going to take, you see the one leaf here? I'm going to grab the other leaves. This is the other stamp. I'm going to use Call Me Clover since I can't find my shaded spruce. Again, this is a great way to show that you can just use any colors. Okay. I'm just going to stamp that. here and then what I'm going to do is grab my daffodil delight eat that up I'm going to put that right up here over there and there's what you have like your background okay now what I need is some leaves so I need one of these these leaves right here, okay, there's different ones. There's ones that have three leaves on it. This one has four. This one has three. These have two. So you can use, um, you can go by the picture and use what they show or just use your own, okay, your own, your own idea. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and grab, I need one of these little felt flowers. 
I'm just going to put that right there. I'm going to grab one of these. And then I'm going to grab one of the blue ones. So there I have my three flowers that I need. Now the glue dots work great for this because they're just the right size. And I'm going to go ahead and put a glue dot here. And here. And then I'm going to put my flowers down. Now you see I put two there. That's because this is a larger one and I really want that to hold. And then over here, I'm just going to put one right next to it. And that's where this one's going to go. And you can always put another one under there. It can't hurt. Again, these kits are great if you're a beginner, beginner stamper. Okay, now I want my little leaf. And again, I'm going to take the glue dot that comes with it, put that right there, and I'm just going to place that underneath here. Okay, not much to that. I'm going to grab my sentiments, and this one says you make you make an ordinary day special. I'm going to use my terracotta tile. Again, remember, shows Calypso Coral, but I've changed up the colors. I'm going to stamp that right here. And then I have my little blue flower. I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. And then I have these little yellow cutouts. So I need one of those. And for this, you can use dimensionals or the glue dots, whichever you prefer. If you want it to lay flat, you use the um, glue dots. If you want it to puff up a little bit, then you would want the dimensionals. And I'm going to grab dimensionals because I love my dimensionals. And for this one, I'm going to grab my minis. I don't know where the other ones are. Take that one off there. Just put that right there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is tie my little bow. I usually, if it's twine, something like that, I leave it right on the roll. It's just easier for me to have a longer piece and then cut it. And of course, I'm doing this on YouTube live, well, live video for myself. You're watching the replay. And so, of course, my fingers aren't working. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is what I meant. It's a little larger than I need, but it's easier to work with a larger piece. Okay, then I'm just going to grab this, cut that, take another glue dot, put that right there, put that there, and then I have these cute little sequins. Now, here's my little trick to the sequins. You take your pick tool, I'm using to put the glue dots down, and then just put a couple over here. You can put them wherever you want, okay? And then you're going to just flick that off. Now, this little bag, you can, you can empty it out if you want, but what I do is I take the other side of my Take Your Pick tool that has that little clay on it, and I just stick it inside there. And that's how I pick up my sequins. You can even, it, sometimes it picks up two. It 
just a little bit of that putty is enough to grab those. Okay, I'm just putting it down there. And I have two more spots I think I want to put it on. Like I said, you can empty them out, but I like to leave them in the bag. And there's one right there. Let me just slide him up. There you go. And then you're going to take in the card, the, take the card base. And again, you can snail it down or use the glue dots to leave it flat. And I'm going to do that one because I'm doing it the way that the picture shows. And there you go. You got your card. Nothing more to it. Okay, so let me bring in the next one, which is the half, I like this called the half circle or wreath one. And for this one, let me get my pieces. I need another one of these felt flowers. Another one of the orange ones. This one, I need two of the blue. So let's pop two of those out. And then I need two of these little yellow. <clears throat> and I also need, there's a piece of vellum here, so I need that also. Okay, these are all the pieces to make this card. And then I need some more greenery or leaves. So I need two of these. And I need a couple, I need least one of those one of those I need two of those one for each there and then I have the three pieces now again you can use whichever ones you want these have three on it I'm gonna just go with the three and then I can always add more if I want I could add eh, I'll add one of the ones with four I might need a couple more of those depending on how I do this so for now, I'm going to put the base over here, and I'm going to start with this. Okay, so for the green, again, you see this is pear pizzazz. Okay, so what I'm going to do is change my color up. And open the pear pizzazz. And I'm just going to add some leaves around here. Okay. There's no right or wrong way how to do this, by the way. Okay. So there we have the pear pizzazz leaves. I'm going to go ahead and take the yellow daffodil, because that's already inked up. And I'm going to put that right about here, facing up. Then I'm going to clean that off. We need it again in my terracotta tile. And I'm just going to put that roughly right there. Okay. And then I'm going to start with the wreath part. Okay, so right here, this is going to go about here. This is going to go right about here. And I'm going to have some leaves. Okay, so the thing I like about this is that I can go ahead and put these on there first and then put the leaves on afterwards. Again, this is a rather larger flower, so I'm gonna use two dimensionals, or two glue dots. I might put more on that afterwards. Just gonna grab this one right here. You can also use um, snail. Your snail will work. Any adhesives that'll work. Okay, I'm just gonna Put that right there. Okay. Now I have this one green leaf. Put him right there. And then I'm just gonna grab these guys. So let me just show you if you were using your snail how you would do it, okay? 
what you would do is you would get your silicon mat or your paper just put a little snail there and then just kind of push it in there it does go a little bit faster if you do it that way I find but not always um, do you have your snail handy or if you're a new stamper you might not have that yet but just to show you lift that up put that right there have a little green there I'm just going to put him right there I'm going to take uh, glue dot again put that right on there put him right there and this little guy let me just show you again I'm using the snail I'm just going to snail a little bit on there Up here, I'm going to take one of these little yellow flowers. Again, I'm going to use a dimensional on this. Put that right about there. Grab the glue dot. Put that right here. Oh, he's going to go right there. And then for this one, again, got the little two leaves. Oop, that got stuck there. That's why you want to use your silicone mat, which I didn't bring over. Okay. And you have all this. Now you can add some more um, green to it. Let's, because there's extra pieces here, I'm just going to grab another piece right here. Put that right up there. And for this one, we're going to use So very thankful. I think I'll use that in the pear pizzazz. So very thankful. The sequence. Again, just sprinkling some sequence. You can also put a little Tombow glue in little dots or your detailed glue if you have that instead of these they work just as well and just bring out a couple of these to put on there I'm gonna bring in my card base now the nice thing about this is you're not gonna see this so I can go ahead and snail right in the middle of that Okay, I'm going to put it right there. Put a little snail or Tombow on the back, whichever one you're going to use, or the glue dots that come with it. And there you have a card. Now, if I wanted to change that up a little bit, I could always take another piece of that ribbon or the twine that comes with it. Grab one of these glue dots and maybe I'll put that right here. So again, I'm changing it up just a little bit more. And you can then cut off your little tails. So there you have another, you have another card. Okay. Just a little bit different, but oh so nice. And then for the last one. We're going to bring in the plain white base. And you see how this one was done. So the first thing I'm going to do is, again, grab that little embellishment, I don't know, little swirl, <laughs> and go ahead and stamp that down. Then I'm going to take flower in the terracotta tile. I'm going to put one going 
this way, one going this way, and then I'm going to grab some more of those leaves. Let's grab two of those. And again, I'm just going to grab my snail for now. Let's do it with that. Put one here. But again, you would be using your glue dots because that's what comes with the kit. Place one right there. Then right on top of that, I'm going to grab a lot more of these leaves. This one has the four five there and I want another one of those because I want it to go this way and then maybe one just smaller one so these are the, the last of the cards and look I still have this left over for another card plenty 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 of leftovers now I'm just gonna put a little more snail right here a little bit right there so that it can hold that into place. I'm going to layer this one right on top. Grab that one that has two. Bring it down there. Oops, he didn't want to stay there. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm going to bring in my flowers again. Somehow I ended up with an extra one of these, which is fine. I think I'll use it on this one. Oh, actually I have another card base. All right, so let's not use it on that one. Missed one. Okay. So this I'm going to put a couple of these blue dots right on the felt. Lift that off. there. I'm going to grab a couple of those yellow flowers. Bring in some dimensionals. For both of those. I've got this one. Let's go ahead and get that off there. We'll put this one right there. And then I have two more blue ones left because I do have two cards left. Look at this. You could even use this for something. But I'm only going to do this one. I wanted to show you those three because I have something else to show you that you can do with the stamp set once you're done with the cards. So we'll just put this one right there. Okay, now you see this head was wrapped around there. So we're going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to grab my leaves and the pair of pizzazz. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some here. And, whoop, got to put that one back, maybe right here. Okay, so I'm just changing this up a little bit. He fell off, so let's get another glue dot there. Let's put it right there instead. nice little bunch of flowers there okay let's see what color was this one all right this was terracotta so we're gonna go with that you make me you make an ordinary day special you know what I'm thinking I'm gonna change it even more I'm gonna change it this way now look at that 
take my twine, make a little bow. So as you can see, you don't have to follow the directions. You can make your card any way you want. Cut this off. And I'm just going to add that right here. So we're just going to put that right there. Might need two. This one might need another one. Put that one right there. So now, on the card base, I'm doing it this way. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. So I'm just going to go ahead, nail that down. So there you have it. Okay, so now I have this one, and let me grab the others so you can see there's four cards in each, and each one of them are a little bit different. And I will have still shots on my stampersdelight.com website blog. But the, before I finish, I want to show you something else. Now, this is the great little box that comes with it, and I don't think I showed you that. So, if you're like me, I love little boxes that I can keep things in. Then what I did was I used the stamp sets and just made some quick, simply stamped cards. So, let me show you that real quick. This is a piece of very vanilla. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get my little piece here. And I'm just going to go this way. In a little bit more with that one right about there okay got my this is already inked up in terracotta tiles so we're just gonna keep that and just put that there you notice I went off a little bit and that's okay right there and then I'm gonna grab my leaves and add some leaves up here. I'm I'm going right over what I've already done. That's the beauty of this kind of stamping. You can do that. Okay. This one I'm going to turn this way. And I'm going to put let's celebrate. I'm going to do that in the yellow. Daffodil delight. I'm going to take my card base, and this one's going to open this way. Get my bone folder, and go ahead and snail that down. There you go. For a quick, easy, simply stamped card. So again, it doesn't get any easier than that. We do have this little guy right here. I kind of like him, so let me add him in there too. Let's just put him like right here and maybe right here. There you go. So even though once your cards are done and the embellishments that come with the kit, you can still use the stamps that you get with this to make beautiful cards. So I hope you enjoyed my class today and this is for the love of felt and this is a kit in the annual catalog if you'd like more information just contact me rosewardstampersdelight.com thank you for watching happy stamping bye